these crystalline solids are divided into four types one is ionic solids next metallic solids covalent solids molecular solids the name itself it is denoting the difference between all those solids so what are ionic solids the constituents may be ions not maybe should be ions cation anion metallic solids means constituents should be metals covalent solids means constituents should be non metals molecular solids means molecules of same types of atoms that is the basic definition be of all these things so what are the main constituents present here ions here metals here non metals here molecules so what about the force of attraction here obviously force of attraction is strong because positive and negative charges force of attraction should be strong the uh, and they are bounded with by ionic bond what about this thing metals are bounded by metallic bond this one by covalent bond and in molecular solids van der waals force of attraction van der waals force of attraction should be there and then what about uh, melting point and boiling point obviously high as we are saying nacl na plus cl minus we need to separate those ones and we need to boil or melt that one so we require to get that one into molten state we require so much energy around 700 to 800 degrees centigrade we, we need that's very high and this one also this is also high uh iron if we consider what happens here fe2 plus plus two electrons it releases or fe3 plus three electrons will be released so what happens here not uh, in that compound not only single fe2 plus will be there electrons are also will be there so fe2 plus fe2 plus fe2 plus like this and two electrons will revolve around this iron fe2 plus so this also requires more temperature so this boiling and boiling points is also high and for this it is very high for example we can say diamond quartz so this is in this case also very high and this in this case it is low so this one is a diamond and a example for this is the water or co2 this we can have melting point and boiling point slow so this is about next classification that is our crystalline solids classification for classifies into four types ionic solids metallic solids covalent solids and molecular solids so next let's see lattice and unit set lattice and unit cell what do we, what do we mean by lattice first of all we discussed that solid is a closely bounded constituent particles matter so in that one regular arrangement of particles in in three dimension if we have any regular arrangement of particles in 3d 3d three dimension then that we call it as a lattice or else regular rearrangement regular arrangement of points also called as lattice so if we consider uh 
Observe this one. I am following one pattern here. So this is the three dimensional arrangement, regular arrangement of certain patterns. This is nothing but lattice. And we call these points as lattice points. Lattice points. What is a unit cell? Smallest thing, smallest 3D unit, we call that one as unit cell. Uh, to differentiate this one, the best example is, look at the wall. That wall is built with bricks. So many bricks are used to prepare that wall or else tables, whatever it may be. Uh, so many bricks are used to build, build the wall. So single brick is known as unit and total wall is known as lattice. Simple definition for our understanding purpose. That is the best example. The total wall in your room is a lattice and each and every brick used to build that wall is unit itself. So if we consider this one, I'm showing one more pattern here. So, If we arrange one more time, this one. This is complete lattice and this is our unit set. Pictorially we need, we should represent like this. This is unit, this is unit and this is complete lattice. The basic difference between lattice and unit cell is this thing. Smallest 3D unit, 3D structure is known as unit cell and complete pattern is known as lattice. So next, let's see our further topics. Next one. How we are going to arrange this unit cells? Unit cells are arranged according to atoms and some cell parameters. Let's see what are those. So, unit cell according to atoms arrangement. Unit cells according to atoms arrangement. Important one. From this, our topic, our original topic starts. So how we, how by conducting experiments, what they concluded, scientists, what they concluded, this is divided into two types, first of all. This is simple unit cell. First one is simple unit cell or else primitive unit cell. And the second one is centered unit cell. This centered unit cell is further divided into three types. Face centered, body centered, and End centered. What is a unit cell according to atoms? This is divided into two types. Two types. One, one is simple unit cell or primitive unit cell. 
and the next one is center unit cell the center unit cell further divided into face centered body center and end center so by atoms arrangement we will get four types of unit cells that we understood by seeing this one so let's see one by one first one is simple unit cell or primitive unit cell 